Happy Friday. Identity. What is that? Who are you? Who am I? I'm a sum of my actions. I'm a sum of my action. Because I'm not necessarily who I was, but I'm who I am. I can change my actions. That's the beauty of being this living organism and in this consciousness and in this experience. I don't have to be plagued by who I was, but it's what I do and who I am. And we can change. I think that's, sometimes that's lost on us. And we forget that, that what I did is not who I am. And how have I come from that maybe event that I am not a proud of, the actions I'm not proud of, what has brought me from there to here? What actions have I taken to adjust and grow and become more empathetic and change? But who do we, who are we? Who are we as a people, as humans, as Americans, as a global society? Like, we're more of a global society now than ever. We are Americans, we are, I'm an American, you know, but we are part of this global world. And in my opinion, in my purview, that we are all part of the same. We are human beings, male, female, doesn't matter. We breathe the same air, we bleed blood, <laughs> we share. And we are one, whether we, we need. So how do we begin to dissolve the barriers and the illusion of separation? I don't, I don't not, I think through stories, through storytelling, through listening, through witnessing. And that I think is one of the most important things about storytelling to inform each other of who we are and where we've come from. To enable each other to see the similarities rather than the differences. The illusion of fear that separates us from our fellow, our fellows, is amazing. And it can be manipulated and used for malicious purposes. So let's, I don't know, let's look for the similarities rather than the differences. Because I believe that we are, I don't know, I be, that's, <laughs> we're so much more alike than we are different uh, if we take the time to listen. Much love.